If you have knee pain or arthritis, there are a few things that you can do that are common sense that will help get you on the road to recovery. Recognize that there are often multiple layers of dysfunctional parts when someone presents with knee pain or arthritis. That means there may be body mechanic issues, there may be biological issues, health issues. So this ultimately is a multidisciplinary approach. And this video is, uh, is just consists of a few common sense ways of beginning the journey forward. So number one, if you're having knee pain, you're having some knee arthritic type symptoms, get some cushioned shoes. The idea is unload. So our initial strategy is, can we get you to adapt to the problem? So can we improve function? Can we lower pain? So often I see people who come in and they're on pain medications or they've been given a shot, they've been given a lot of one-off treatments. I mean, that means they've had one thing done and it didn't work. The idea really is there are many components that can potentially be modified to help you. So let's address as many of those components as we can. And the first one is unload. So it doesn't have to be any fancy cushion shoes. It just has to be a pair of shoes that you try on. You say, yes, the pressure in my knee feels less with these shoes on. The second thing is modifying your gait in a way that lowers impact. Normally when we're walking, our heel strikes at initial contact. And when your heel strikes, you're creating an impact within the knee that in the setting of a joint that's wearing out could potentially cause pain. So if you were to change the way your heel strikes so that the amount of time between the heel striking and the knee bending is decreased, then instead of having an impacting kind of a gait where the heel is striking and then you're bending the knee, you're getting a rolling gliding gait. And the effect that has is it softens the load on the joint itself, but it ultimately brings your center of gravity forward just a bit. And it can sometimes give you a, a bit of a spring-like gait. So I have a link to a video that has an exercise to help you with this that is in the description at the bottom. The third component is a physical therapy program. This can often be supervised, but there's a home component as well too. You may need a doctor's prescription for this. For a physical therapy program to work, recognize that the core muscles, ab, lower back, butt, thigh muscles, help to support the trunk over the foot while you're walking. If you optimize the way these muscles work together, then you can also help to unload the pressure on your knee and potentially influence the amount of pain that you're having. For this to work, you need to have a specific goal-directed plan, so it's not just a time-based approach. I'll often hear people say, I tried it already, it didn't work. Well, the thing is, this is an iterative process. It's a journey, not a destination. So for it to work, number one, you have to articulate what your goal is. I wanna play football, I wanna run in the park, I wanna walk up the stairs. Articulate your goal so you know how far away you are from it. And so your healthcare provider, your physical therapist, understands what you're shooting for. Then there's a combination of three basic ingredients. Number one, you focus on the core, flexibility, and single leg stability. How do you stabilize your trunk over your leg while you're walking? Once you achieve that, and you've improved your symptoms, changed the way you walk, the second part is, can you get all the individual muscle groups stronger, maintaining that improvement in function, lowering in pain? And then the third part is, sport specific, recreation specific, work specific functions, whether it's running, whether it's a specific sports skill, work on those skill sets where you get all the different muscles to work together and to accomplish your goal. F fourth, biology. Is your body primed for growth and regeneration or is it primed for degeneration and breakdown? Biology is very important. While all of us are uniquely genetically different, it's our lifestyle modifications that can change the way those genes are expressed. And that basically means if you have an injury to your knee, if you had a work-related injury, if you have a chronic injury, if you've just not done anything, so inactivity in and of itself can be a reason that people will get enough inflammation to create arthritis. Then your lifestyle, so your combination of sleep, nutrition, stress, uh, uh, exercises will potentiate how that is expressed. So that means if you have the right combination of sleep, that is a deep restorative sleep that's very useful, nutrition, eating whole healthy foods, including avoiding all processed sugars, getting some type of a good protein source, vegetables, healthy fats in your diet, and figure out what is right for you can also benefit. The third issue is getting the right exercise program dialed in. Remember, the human body needs physical stress. 
Very often people will say, I hurt and so I stopped doing this. But the problem really is, is when we become inactive, our body shuts down and those cellular machinery that we need to help progress and get you through this actually shut down. By applying the right physical stress, the combination of strength training, flexibility, aerobic conditioning, core conditioning, this can often progress you to a point where you can adapt to what's going on. So remember, the strategy here is adaptation. It's not symptom relief. So getting the right combination of physical stress is not a formula, it's not a cookbook. You need to talk to your therapist, talk to your healthcare provider, try to figure out the best way to navigate this. Again, recognizing it's a journey, not a destination. You need to iterate and continue to work on it to, to make progress. And then finally, figure out some way to measure how you're doing. Am I getting closer to my goal? Do I feel better? Find some way to determine whether you're achieving the goal, discuss that with your therapist, discuss that with your health, prov health provider, and allow them to help you continue to, continue to guide you along the way. So this is a good start. Remember, the treatment of, of knee pain and knee arthritis is a multidisciplinary approach because there are often many systems and many layers of systems that are dysfunctional. It's a very complex topic and I've made it overly simplified. But recognize that when these measures don't work or they're not progressing, then we'll consider uh, in injections, sometimes cortisone injections, sometimes gel injections or blood product uh, injections that we'll sometimes consider, platelet-rich plasma, uh, bone marrow-derived stem cells. There is a video that I made on this topic as well, and I'll put that link in the description. Uh, and then there are sometimes surgeries that we'll do, whether they're minimally invasive arthroscopic surgeries directed at very specific problems that we'll find during imaging, or there are situations we'll consider a joint replacement as well. So ultimately, the, the progression in, in the right direction involves understanding what the problem is, getting a comprehensive approach to management that has some common sense uh, ideas in it, which I've hopefully uh, outlined in this short video, and then giving feedback to your, to your healthcare uh, providers, whether they're therapists or physicians, to help guide you along, and then taking appropriate steps if things are not working out. Good luck.